What is going on guys, Bang Lincoln here, coming back at you with another video, and today we have another episode of Power of Peterson, and um, last episode was pretty tough, tough loss, no spoiler alerts there, I'm just going to say how it is, and if you guys want me to make upgrades at the end of each episode after we play the games, I feel like that make or that might make a bit more sense, so we definitely could do that, let me know down in the comments section below, you guys have been overall loving the series so far, I've been enjoying it as well. Uh, and we only got one upgrade as Adrian Peterson just barely eclipsed 100 all-purpose yards uh, through rushing and receiving, just barely. So that is one upgrade. We didn't get the win, so no upgrades there. That has been changed to an upgrade instead of a skip tier. This is the team right now, and um, I don't know who we're even going to target. I feel like I feel like we need a wide receiver because it came up late in the game last time where we just didn't really have any targets to throw to. And, um, you know, Desmond Lewis played really, really well for most of the game. And then he had a huge, huge drop and then technically two drops near the end of the game. He's just not really all that good. So we could use a receiver who can catch better. Uh, we'd be looking at any gold player. So I think we're going to go ahead and check out the uh, auction block and see what's going on. See who we might want to bring onto the team in that 70 to 79 overall range. All right. The guy I've settled on is going to be JJ Nelson of the Arizona Cardinals, 5'10", but he's got tremendous speed. He can catch pretty well. Uh, as he compares to our current receivers, I wish I could sort by starting, uh, but I don't think I can. I can maybe do it by overall, I'll go up this way. So we currently have in our starting lineup, uh, I know Khalif Raymond is in there, um, but we also have no Jalen Strong. I'll show you guys when we're actually in there, but I'm gonna get JJ Nelson. He's a pretty good upgrade. Uh, 8.9K gets it done. And J.J. Nelson is the newest member of the Power of Peterson squad. All right, so J.J. Nelson's clearly an upgrade to anyone that we really have right now. We're going to go ahead and, and see, because he's going to be place, uh, replacing Khalif Raymond here. He has better speed, and that was really Khalif Raymond's uh, main strength, was 87 speed. But J.J. Nelson has 91, better catching by 13, better elusiveness, better spectacular catch by 10, better release by 14, better route running, better catching traffic, better jumping, as if that matters. But anyway... He is into the squad right now, and we're actually going to replace him in the entire death chart, so we're going to be returning kicks and punts as well. And people have asked, why don't you put Adrian Peterson back there? It's really, I don't want him to get all that much um, exhausted, because he would get so tired, and like that is not a good thing for the power of Peterson squad if our only way to get upgrades is not on the field in key situations. So JJ Nelson's in there. I think I'm going to switch him with Braxton Miller, maybe get him on the field just a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be the upgrades for right now. Let's go ahead and jump into our game. All right, our season is on the line pretty much, by the way. We have one loss remaining. We need to win four straight to have a shot. And this is all rookie uh, first string, so it's better than all rookie second string. Better competition, better quality. Everyone that's in this had to go through all rookie, or excuse me, just rookie first string to begin with. So, a rookie second string to begin with. Sorry, I'm all over the place today. So, it's, it is better competition, so getting demoted wouldn't be the worst thing. We'd have a better chance to get upgrades and things along that line. But uh, I'm still playing for the win. I don't like losing at all. So hopefully we can come out here, get the win, get the upgrade. There's still more reason to win than to lose, I think. But um, I, I, it wouldn't be the worst thing. And I think if we do get upgrades at the end of this game, we're going to go ahead and try that out at the end of the episode and see if you guys like that format a little bit more. Gets you watching the end, you know, keeps you invested throughout the video. So that's maybe a thing that's cool for me, at least. All right, Field Burrito 923 clearly doesn't know you can change your name for free. Maybe he won't be all that good. He has... Ooh, level master Ladanian Tomlinson, Cameron Wake. It looks like Big Ben. So not a crazy team, but that Ladanian Tomlinson is probably going to be sick. Really worried about him. Come on, throw me the ball. Throw me the ball. Oh, that's wide open over the middle. That is wide open. Okay. He's going to be doing a lot of hot routes. We're not going to get beat by that again. There he is to the flats. That is a really bad play by Tim Williams, who obviously doesn't specialize in zone coverage still. This guy does a lot of audibles, dude. And it's a QB draw. Fucking bravo. That's a play right out of my book. And he's in the end. I'm not going to beat this guy. This guy is actually not horrific. He knows what he's doing. He knows the meta. He's running good plays. I'm not going to be able to beat this guy. I know it. So, uh, hello, all rookie. Or not. Why do I keep saying all rookie? Hello, rookie second string again. Even though we never played there in this series. We're not out of it yet. Let's get some upgrades. Let's force AP the ball. Get some upgrades. Turn to Adrian Peterson upfield. That's open over the middle, though. 
And it's Desmond Lewis continuing to play really well in these last couple of episodes. 27 yards down the field for him. All right, Pat Mahomes has decent wheels. If this guy expects QB draw, I would be shocked. Here we go. QB draw. <laughs> this guy's mad. Maybe not, but maybe he's laughing. That was pretty funny. Wide open over the middle. Mahomes with the strike. Darren Waller. We're moving this football. Pat Mahomes... I mean, he's been pretty good consistently. It's just like when I need him, he hasn't been as good as I'd like a player to be. But he's overall been decent, I want to say. Fewer overthrows than Matt Stafford, that's for sure. Here we go. We need him to score points for upgrades and stuff. He's open over the middle. Adrian catches the ball. Truck, get in the end zone. Touchdown, let's go. That is an upgrade. Love it. That's what we got to do. We got to get him in at wide receiver. What am I doing? It also probably wouldn't be the worst idea to invest in a kicker. So they're not starting from the 35 every time. Give me the ball. I, I over pursued. That's my bad. That should be an easy user pick and I screwed up. Now I know he's going to throw at me though. That's a good thing to know. Because I can abuse that. I'm letting you run the ball. He's not going to, though. And the sack. Pressure gets in. It's John Abraham. Sacks and I believe, back-to-back -back games for him. Fourth and 19. You can't go for it here. Is he going to? Unreal. Here we go. Fourth and 19. I'm sitting in a cover four. Keep everything in front of me. If he would have caught that, I would have flipped out. Good play. Here we go, running a power. I don't know what that was. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what was that? What in the world was that? And that could have been a touchdown too. I don't even I don't even know what just happened. Here's a stretch. Stumble recovery. We'll get out of bounds. Extra yardage. Right, Adrian gonna stay in the game. If he blitzes again, which he's been doing the past couple of plays. Setting up the blitz. The screen should be open. I pressed RB, Pat. You gotta throw the ball. He has a really slow release sometimes, man. I'm gonna throw that. It was so covered. I didn't even throw... Mm, I, yeah, I threw across the field, but like... That's also a you know an awful throw. It's okay. It works basically as a punt. I didn't really have anything. His cover four was just too good there. Let's make a play with Malik Hooker. What is he? What is he doing? What, is, what did he do last time this happened? He did a QB draw, I think. That is a great play to get over there, make up the ground, force the incompletion. That was wide open. Did QB contain? I'm all over that. User pick, easy reads. Uh, good night, Moon. Hassan Reddick with the user pick. There we go. Took that away. That's, yeah, that's so, that's, that's dumb. That's a really poor decision. That's one of the first picks of this entire series where I really feel like that's completely my fault because I tried to streak through Adrian Peterson. I should have expected that the safety was going to come down and make a play there. That's why I was playing so far off. And I gave up just an easy pick six because of being absolutely ignorant. And he faked it. Dude, why do people keep doing that on me? Can you just not? I'm never expecting it because why, why would I be? Braxton Miller dropped the ball. Unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable. Un I can't even speak. Unbelievable, dude. I feel like I have marbles in my mouth. What is that? How is that not a completion? Is that offsides? Is this free play? Free play? I still can't even throw the ball. Offsides. I'll take the second and five, but I wish I would have been able to throw it downfield with hopes of, you know, getting something. Here we go. Up the middle. Adrian. Get me blockers. Adrian with the truck stick, and he just got leveled. We got yardage, though. He expected the dive. Show me blocking. Adrian with the truck stick. Dude, do you see Adam Norwell, though? Or Andrew Norwell? Adam. Andrew Norwell 
just literally stopped. Please run forward and block. Is there any way I can just like tell him, please do what you're fucking supposed to do? It's unbelievable. It really is. There's Adrian. Mahomes throws one on the money. This guy, again, can't make any tackles of his own. That's fair. Try to get him to jump off sides there. Braxton Miller is open. Pat Mahomes doesn't throw the ball when I want him to. Pressure shouldn't be coming in that quickly that you can't throw the ball. Go, Pat. Go, Pat. Go. He fumbled the ball. You're going to celebrate? Yeah, it was, that was all you, dude. You switched off, let the CPU made a tackle for you, make a tackle for you, and then you celebrate down the field after you get a lucky fumble return touchdown. You're sick at the game. Don't worry about it. You're going pro. There's the pitch. It doesn't matter that I fucking ran commit that way and no one even went that way. And he gets in easily. Oh, RB is so open. RB is so open. Oh my god, dude. No. What? I saw it across the field. It, it could not have been more open. And nothing. He's going to blitz me heavy. You got to expect that. He's been doing it all game. I don't really have the time I want to make audibles. We're going to have to rock with it. He just he ran just supreme fagdy on me. It's so open. There we go, Desmond Lewis. Nice defense. Should have had Adrian Peterson on the receiving end of that screen. Didn't, though. Adrian is back to full energy, which means we're going to give him the ball. Up the middle might be wide open. And it is Adrian. What is that? I'm about to I'm about to lose my mind at some of these animations, man. Let's put him on the angle. Drag JJ Nelson. There's Adrian into the end zone. Touchdown. Another upgrade. Let's go. I think it's his second touchdown of the game, which is two upgrades. If he's over 100 all-purpose yards, which I think he is, that's three upgrades. This has been a very effective episode, win or lose. We just need to make the defensive stop, get the score. Oh, no! Almost had a sick user pick. That would have been so nice. Oh, my God. It would have been so nice. Good stop. That is out of field goal range, potentially. He's going for it on 4th and 13. I'm there. Let's go. Joshua Perry gets the knockdown. We're still in this game. Adrian's wide open. There's a the juke. Adrian stiff arms. He's trying to get the ball. Adrian, stay up. Oh my goodness. What a beast. Can't do it. Adrian's open. Adrian's open. He catches the ball. Here we go. Adrian on the truck stick. Abusing. Adrian to the outside. Adrian, let's go trucking end zone. 24 yards to the house. Adrian Peterson. What a game. Kick is up and it is good. Giorgio Tavecchio ties this game up at 21, but there's a lot of time left. I want to check the stats real quick. Can I not? Someone also suggested in the comments that 150 yards instead of 100 all-purpose yards should be an upgrade. I, I actually agree with that. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to say at the beginning of another episode, but let's see what Adrian Peterson has done so far. Player stats on the ground, rushing Adrian Peterson has 85 yards and a touchdown, so that's only one upgrade. Receiving, he has two touchdowns on 65 yards, so uh, he would be over that 100-yard uh, mark, but again, 150 yards is the marker. We have a lot of upgrades. A win would be so huge here. But that 85 plus 65 is right at 150. So he does have the upgrade by our new rules that we're rocking with. Throw at me. Throw at me. Picked off Josh Perry. Let's go. Josh Perry. I'm going to go out. I'm going to go out at the one. It's a strategic move. Joshua Perry, though, is such a big playmaker in this series. It's unreal. Commit to the dive. Adrian. He didn't get in. He didn't get into the end zone there. 
Adrian up the middle, down the one. Oh my goodness, I've made a mistake. <laughs> oh boy. There we go, Adrian Peterson on the pitch, touchdown. It all worked out. Okay, Adrian Peterson for his fourth touchdown on the game. Whoa, 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 I even forgot. If you go to the rules, I think three touchdowns is a... He over-pursued the block, oh my goodness. I think three touchdowns is a skip tier. And then he has four, so he has the skip tier, plus all the touchdowns, plus the yards. Oh my goodness, this was this was quite a game. And if we get the win, that's another upgrade. Let's check the stats, because if this guy doesn't get it, I think he might rage quit. Just want to be sure. So player stats, Adrian Peterson has 86 yards rushing, two touchdowns. Um, two touchdowns receiving, 65 yards. So he is over 150. So that's, that's an upgrade for... Um, overall yards that's four upgrades for four touchdowns that's a skip tier for the three touchdown mark oh my goodness this was the game that we needed it's a good play honestly if this game goes to overtime i wouldn't even be that mad because we'd have more opportunity for Adrian to get more yardage and it's like at this point i feel like um the upgrades are more important than the uh than the win <laughs> But if we can get both, that'd be fantastic. Just Adrian's so close to 100 rushing yards. So I kind of want that. But I also really want to win this game. Especially because of the way this guy played. Actually, like he was, like he just feels good. I'm not even mad about his play style. He just, he just uh, feels like a good player. Oh, that's so open over the middle. Oh, I need a fumble. 11 seconds. Would he go for two? I feel like he would go for two. He's been just, he's, he's moving the ball pretty well here. Using Josh Perry. It's picked off for Sean Melvin. Oh my goodness. And he's going to rage quit. He's going to rage quit. It counts. It counts. Rage go counts. Skip tier. Give me it. Give me a skip tier. Yes. The rage quit counts. I don't care if you rage quit in the last six seconds. The rage quit counts as a skip tier. I'm loving it. Uh, we're going to do the upgrades at the start of next episode. Uh, but let me know in the comments if you would like me to do them at the end of the episode rather than at the start. Um, but what a game. We have Adrian Peterson. Four total upgrades for four touchdowns. We have five upgrades um, if you count that he had 150 total yards. Um, and we had an upgrade for the win. And we had a skip tier for the Rage Quit. So that is... Actually, you know what? I think what we're going to do, and I'm going to say this at the start of the next episode, if a win and a skip tier cancel out. So if it's a Rage Quit, it's a skip tier, not a skip tier, and an upgrade for the win and whatever. So I feel like that that's better. If it's a Rage Quit, it's still a win, but it's just not an upgrade. It's a skip tier instead. So we have five upgrades and a skip tier for the Rage Quit. Oh, and holy, 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 holy. Give me a minute. Three touchdowns is a skip tier. So that's two skip tiers and five upgrades. The start of next episode is going to be a little bit wild, but thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Shit, don't